While the Tamil Tigers were continuing with their terrorist activities in the north and east, the security forces, in addition to fighting ruthless terrorism, had to constantly attend to the humanitarian needs of innocent Tamil civilians in those areas. When the civilians were in desperate circumstances in the conflict areas, the Tigers aggravated the situation more and more by using the agony of the civilians to their advantage. The humanitarian activities undertaken by the state's defense forces put the island on top as a country caring for humanity and fostering human rights. The state's defense forces were at times seen conducting medical clinics in the Jaffna Peninsula, an area with a predominant Tamil population caring for civilians and critically ill patients. The Air Force undertook to airlift some of the critically ill Tamil patients to the General Hospital in Colombo, the capital of the island. As the Tamil Tigers were set to disrupting the education system in the Jaffna Peninsula, the state's Air Force went all out in transporting school books to the students, subsequent to which the security force commander in Jaffna took action to distribute them amongst the needy children. Due to the closure of the A9 road, which is the main link to the predominantly Tamil Jaffna Peninsula, following tiger terrorist attacks on the entry exit point in August 2006, transportation along the road came to a standstill. Food stocks in the Jaffna Peninsula were affected due to lack of stocks reaching Jaffna by road. The army had to intervene in distributing cooked meals among the civilians. With the shortage of medical supplies in the peninsula after the closure of the A9 road by the Tigers, army doctors along with some civilian doctors conducted several medical clinics for the Tamil civilians in the peninsula. The Tamil civilians in the peninsula will always remember how the state's defense forces supplied them with cooked meals at times of real need during the conflict times. The state defense forces' compassion was not restricted to the north of the island, but it extended to the east too. Human feelings and sentiments are common to every human being. They do not differ from race to race, from gender to gender, or from caste to caste. The army women soldiers observing the need for clothes of the displaced civilians due to tiger atrocities in eastern Sri Lanka were seen bringing clothes from their homes, which were later distributed among the displaced civilians. While the Tamil tigers were shouting slogans as the sole liberators of the Tamil community, the true concern of the state for the Tamil civilians was highlighted when the Navy continued to ferry Tamil civilians from the north to the east and vice versa when the Tamil Tigers were keeping the main supply road to Jaffna closed. The Tigers made many attempts to destroy the vessel ferrying civilians under Navy protection. The brave action by the Navy had saved the lives of many innocent Tamil civilians through many such voyages. The torrential rains that resulted in landslides in the central hills gave a new dimension to the state defense forces' humanitarian missions. Air Force rescue teams were employed to airlift Sinhalese and Tamil people who were trapped in areas inaccessible by land. Over 135 men, women and children, including pregnant women and elderly persons, were rescued and airlifted by the Air Force. The Air Force also carried 4.2 tons of essential food items to affected areas. The affected civilians paid tribute to the members of the Defence Forces who considered their own lives second to those of the innocent civilians. The government's concern over the displaced and disturbed civilians in the conflict areas did not end with the development of the state's Defence Forces. The government went to the extent of allowing the UN and UNICEF to help the affected people in the East. The continuous supply of essential food items to the North during the year 2006 was an uphill task undertaken by the government as the Tigers were bent on disrupting these activities through terror. 
The Navy was employed in providing security to the supply vessels as well as ferrying food stocks on their own naval vessels. 89,000 tons of food was ferried to the Jaffna Peninsula by the Sri Lanka Navy. Fuel being an essential item in the peninsula, the Navy was employed to ferry 32,364 tons of fuel to the north by naval vessels. Up to the 30th of March 2007, around 13,444 passengers who had reason to come to the south were transported to Trincomalee from Kankasanthurai port in Jaffna by the Navy. Meanwhile, 21,735 passengers were transported from Kankasanthurai to Trincomalee on board the Green Ocean, a commercial passenger craft. The security of the vessel was guaranteed by the Sri Lanka Navy despite repeated suicide attacks by LTTE Tiger boats. The State Defence Force's humanitarian missions were not confined to the north of the island. As the Tigers used the civilians in the east as a human shield to protect themselves from the Defence Force's retaliations, more and more assistance had to be provided to the civilians in the east. In the year 2006, Many medical camps were conducted by the Navy in Nilaveli, Mutur, Kites in the east and in Karainagar and Mandatiwu in the north for the benefit of the Tamil civilians. With the intention of maintaining sufficient fuel stocks for consumption by the Tamil civilians in the north, the fuel storage tanks at the Kankasanture cement factory that had been abandoned were renovated and reinstalled by the Navy. They are seen as far-sighted efforts by the state for the well-being of the Tamil civilians in the affected areas. The airlifting of stationery by the Air Force from Ratmalana to Palali in Jaffna to be distributed among Jaffna school children is yet another humanitarian concern that the government had shown for the cause of education in the Jaffna Peninsula. The Air Force also came forward to transport critically ill patients in need of urgent medical treatment to the Colombo National Hospital which became a routine gesture illustrating the state's concern regarding the humanitarian needs of the Tamil population in Jaffna. While making every attempt to debar the supply of essentials to the north, the Tigers were attempting to project to the outside world that the civilians in the peninsula were not being cared for by the government. With transportation via A9 coming to a standstill following tiger attacks in August 2006, essential food items like milk powder, sardines, biscuits and dry rations weighing over 80,000 kilos were airlifted to Jaffna by the Sri Lanka Air Force during October and November 2006 alone. The deployment of the Air Force and the Navy to help the normalization of civil life had become a routine practice. The Tamil people targeted by the ruthless tigers in their terror campaigns have been well looked after by the state defense forces despite various hardships and numerous duties. The Tamil civilians are aware as to who makes their life a misery. None other than the Tamil tigers, the so-called liberators of the Tamil community.